try to escape. I know, I know. Okay. So this video is sponsored by Insta360 and that entire sequence that you just watched was filmed with the Insta360 Ace Pro. Now I love this little action camera. It was so much fun to film with at Disneyland. The stabilization of course was good. The low light performance was surprisingly impressive. But I find with action cameras, they're all kind of the same these days, you know? They all have ultra wide lenses, great image quality, crazy good stabilization. But with the Ace Pro, there are a few tricks up its sleeve that make it stand out above the rest. And so for this video, I wanted to talk about five practical reasons why you should consider getting the Insta360 Ace Pro. Reason number one, the selfie flip up screen. Now this is really handy, of course, to, to do selfie shots and to compose your shot right. But I often like using the flip up screen so that I can compose low angle shots like this, get it down to the ground and make sure that my shot looks great. And also holding a camera like this where you can look at the screen from the top down just makes it a lot easier to, to fiddle around with the different settings. It's a very boring reason why you should get a camera like this. But when it comes to practicality, having a flip up screen on an action camera is just so helpful. Reason number two, clarity zoom. Now this is a feature that I absolutely love on the Insta360 Ace Pro and it's a feature where you can punch in on your shot and still get a 4K image. So for example in this shot over here this was a wide shot of a Christmas tree in 4K but I wanted to get a tighter shot of this ice cleaner thingy over here. And so I used Clarity Zoom, punch in on this shot, and I was able to get a tighter shot of this ice thingy. What's it called? Is it an ice cleaner, ice rink cleaner? I don't know what it's called. But the fact that I can pretty much change focal lengths on the Ace Pro is just such a practical reason to get this camera. And the reason why I was able to get a shot like that is because of the 1 over 1.3 CMOS sensor where I can film 8K video. 8K video is great, but it's not really necessary and I don't feel like people are ready for 8K anyway. But because of that 8K resolution, I can film a normal 4K video, punch in using Clarity Zoom, and still get a 4K resolution image. It's super easy to use too. There's this arrow thingy over here on the bottom of the screen and if I tap on it, that's going to activate Clarity Zoom. And look at that, I can get a tight shot. If I wanna go back to a wide, I can get a wide shot. There is something you should know though, like while you are recording, you can't really use Clarity Zoom instantaneously. Like if I press it right now, like there's a bit of a delay and that's gonna show in your footage. And so uh, don't expect it to work um, that quickly while recording. So yeah, so just keep that in mind if you want to use Clarity Zoom while recording. Leaders of the first order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. Leaders of the first order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. Now that delay is totally normal because in order for the Ace Pro to utilize all the pixels and still retain a 4K image when using Clarity Zoom, there is gonna be a little bit delay. It kind of makes sense. And so, you know, I think I'd rather have that than have like an instantaneous digital zoom, you know what I mean? All right, so we're here at the park because I wanted to test out uh, the Clarity Zoom by using all right, so we're here at the park because I kind of want to do a comparison by zooming in on a, on a 4K image by 200% versus using Clarity Zoom. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and find a spot, shall we? All right, so I'm going to place the Ace Pro right over there. And I like this little accessory. It's like a cool little stand. Uh, but yeah, Ace Pro is right over there. We're going to test out Clarity Zoom and switch back to the Ace Pro. Hi, hello, how are you? All right, so I'm going to go over here. Uh, yeah, maybe I, over here to this line. Uh, here's the image. And I'm going to zoom in in post by 200%. This is what it looks like. Hi, hello, how are you? And so now I'm gonna use Clarity Zoom so that we can compare both those images. I think I'm about to like squat down, uh, my head's being cut off. But this is Clarity Zoom, still retaining that 4K image, which is so, so cool. And so I love that flexibility, filming wide, having Clarity Zoom, so cool. So yeah, there you go, Clarity Zoom for the win. And since we're in this setup, let's talk about reason number three to get the Ace Pro, and that's good low light performance thanks to a feature called Pure Video. So right now I'm filming my headphones uh, without Pure Video on. This is a low light situation and uh, you know, it looks okay. And now I just turned on the Pure Video feature on the Ace Pro and look how much better 
this shot looks. Like you could see so much more details in the background versus the other footage where you don't really see anything at all in the background. And so yeah, if you're looking for great low light performance from an action camera, the Ace Pro is definitely it. Reason number four, pre-record. The Ace Pro has the ability to capture video 15 seconds before you press the record button. So many times have I missed a shot because I pressed the record button a little bit too late. And so having the ability to pre-record 15 seconds before you press the action button is such a handy feature to have on any camera. In fact, I wish all cameras had that pre-record feature. And so I'm just very thankful that the Ace Pro features pre-recording. All right, real quick, let me show you how to do it. You're gonna swipe down and on the bottom left corner is this icon that says pre, uh, just tap on that and that will enable pre-recording. And it says here, save the video for 15 seconds before you press the button. So cool, so we're gonna start doing that. And then right now uh, I'm not recording, uh, but I'm gonna do this. Okay, now I'm gonna press record and do nothing. All right, now I'm gonna press record to stop, processing video. So we're gonna swipe right and we're gonna play back that footage and you're gonna see that pre-recording. How cool is that? All right, filming with the Ace Pro right now. Oh, gosh, I love vlogging with this thing. It's so much fun. That flippy screen is really, really nice. Anyway, the pre-recording feature is not a new feature at all. In fact, pre-recording is also available on the Go 3. But what's cool about the Ace Pro is that you can pause recording and cancel it. And the last reason to get the Insta360 Ace Pro is that you can turn your video clips into AI with the Ace Pro in the Insta360 app. It's so crazy and so easy to do. All you have to do is open up the Insta360 app, select whatever clips you wanna turn into AI, and then select four seconds of each of those clips, and then simply use one of the presets that are built within the app to turn it into AI, or you can even write a prompt, kinda like ChatGPT. And you can turn your entire composition into AI or even a selected object, and by simply drawing on it, I can turn that specific object into AI art or whatever. But in just a few minutes, you can have some really cool looking AI video clips. And to me, I think it's such a cool reason to get this camera. I mean, is it a fad? I don't know. Does it open up possibilities for more creative storytelling? Of course, and for that reason alone, I think it's a great reason to get the Ace Pro. Also, friendly reminder that the Ace Pro isn't the be all and all, it's just another tool, another camera to use to tell stories. I mean, I have a bunch of different cameras out there, obviously my Sony cameras but I also got a 360 camera I got a you know an action camera with the ace pro and probably my favorite action camera is the go 3 you know the lovable wearable action camera oh, all these cameras are just tools to tell our stories and so yeah if you already have an action camera and you're happy with it then cool awesome but if you're looking for an action camera for the very first time then yeah I definitely consider uh, checking out the insta360 ace pro all right, well, that is the video. Let me know what you think of this camera down below. Would you get it? Would you not? Also, if you want to check it out for yourself, links would be down below. But thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.